Hey guys, I'm Brennan and I'm Nate and you're watching Merch Mate. Today we have a summer special for you guys because it is the first week of summer. Uh, yeah, we've started to look into some summer merch for you guys. So we'll be having some episodes coming up soon based on some more summery type of merch. But for today, we have the Bennies. We have a beach ball and a frisbee from these guys. So this one is from their website over at Artist First. And this happens to be the cheapest merch we've ever reviewed. This one was $7 and $8 bargains. Good on the Bennies for bringing us decent bargains. That's what you want. So if you haven't heard of the Bennies, uh, you've probably been pretty deaf for the last 10 years because that's how long <laughs> they've been around. They're actually on a bit of a hiatus at the moment. They um, haven't really been releasing any music, but they've still got plenty of merch to sell. That's why we're doing this episode today. Yeah, so they've still got plenty of stuff over on their store. It's not an official hiatus. They're just kind of taking a break. They, they've been going pretty hard for the last few years, so it's kind of understandable that they want to take a step back. Uh, they're all kind of getting a bit older now and Ant's got other jobs as well. Actually, he used to work at least at Stay Gold. My first beer at Stay Gold was poured by Ant. I remember one time I met up with Nate in Melbourne, uh, one of the first times we reconnected. We are at the bar and he was like, wait, it's, it's Ant from the Bennies. Look, and then I looked at the stage and I'm like, wait, like, which, which, what, who? And then he's like, no, like, buy the bar. And I'm Pour like, your Yo. beer, man. <laughs> that's, like, that's so cool. Anyway, one more little fact about these guys. They actually tried to call their band Madonna before they settled on the Bennies. This is a Wikipedia fact, so I, I hope this is true. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Man, I reckon that the Bennies lawyer is the hardest working lawyer in the country. Yes, they are known for their antics for sure, and they are known for their unusual behaviour, including their unusual merch behaviour, such as this. We've never really seen a frisbee or a beach ball before from another band. So on this piece of merch, on both of these pieces of merch, actually, they have the design and the font from their Natural Born Chillers album, their fourth album that was released a couple years ago, and um, Ant from the band actually did the artwork himself for that one. Yeah, it's really cool artwork as well. I have a very good example here that you can look at. It has all of them sitting there looking at the Lord Saviour, our Nog. This one's actually been drawn all over by the boys. I found it at Ogene Records and they just came in one day and decided to draw all over it. So shout out to Ogene. Apparently the story goes that he was living with uh, Chris from the Smith Street Band. He actually convinced Ant he was good enough to pull through and just do the full artwork for the Bennies. So he ended up doing the artwork for that album with the collage art and used this font with it as well. So that's the story. A truly multi-talented man. They're actually pretty great little toys to take to the park, you know, and to the beach. Pretty standard like show bag style beach ball and um, pretty sturdy frisbee. And there's one pretty cool feature about this frisbee that I want to show you guys. It is glow in the dark, people. How dope is that? Damn, that's so cool. Works really well as a frisbee. I've taken it to the parks a couple of times, hence it's a bit scratched up. But you know what? It's good fun. Floats around like a frisbee should. Yeah, I used to th throw the frisbee back in high school, actually. I can do one of those, like, outwards flicks. Oh. Rather than just your standard, you know, frisbee. So my first piece of merch that I ever got was actually a Benny shirt. I actually have it right here. It looks every bit as tired as you would imagine a four or five year old piece of band merch does. But I'm gonna ride my bike wherever I, well, you can read the rest. I bought this shirt purely because I love the quote on it and then started getting into the Bennies. <laughs> yeah. So it actually happened backwards. So merch is also good for that. That was what started the addiction. Exactly. Well, while that was uh, Nate's first piece of band merch, I actually saw Benny's at one of my first ever music festivals at the last Southbound a few years ago. These guys brought the energy in the afternoon. That kind of dip in the afternoon where sometimes it can go either way. You kind of need a nap, you kind of need a chill, or you could just get out and party like a party machine. Well, that's the good thing with the Benny's is like they start their songs and it's so chill. And then it like just sneaks up on you. Yep. And before you know it, you're like... <laughs> If you haven't checked out their Artist First store, definitely head over there and see their merch too. They have plenty of merch left, so enjoy your summer. Make sure you keep wearing your Aussie Music t-shirts out in summer as well. And that has been our review of the Benny's Frisbee and Beach Ball. Only one thing left to do. Get on it. 
Get on it, guys. We'll see you next week.